Hi guys, this is Joe from the M Banker Support Team. I'm here today with another tutorial. Today we'll be talking about the custom USSD tr transactions feature. Most of the time, many users are stuck to these functions on the app: cash in, cash out, airtime, pay to merchants, commission, and balance. But the truth of the matter is, you can use the app to perform any USSD related operation, be it bundle, mashup push pull whatever it is you can program the app to do it and you can do that by using the custom ussd transactions feature so i'll show you how to program the app and how to use whatever program you've written on the app so let's jump into it to use the custom ussd feature first click on this button custom ussd transaction click on it then you see a prompt and there's a big button here that says create or edit custom ussd click on that now there are two ways to go about it you can either import predefined models or you can create your own model so let's go to the first section that says importing custom ussd model that those scripts were programmed by the m banker team so you can just import them onto your device and use them as and when needed so click on that now know that this operation needs internet because it is loading the models from the server so before you click on that make sure you have internet access so it will load a couple of already programmed models i mean these are them to use them you just have to click and save it so whichever one that you want to use just click import and save so you see when i clicked on it now it has been imported into my device you need internet to import but after you import you don't need internet to run you can always use it without internet once it's on your device now we advise after importing you may need to edit it because the sim was pre-programmed maybe it was pre-programmed to run with sim 1 but you want to use sim 2 to it so you just click edit and you change you scroll down here to sim 1 or 2 whichever one you prefer and you save it so this one is pretty simple click on import after you edit it and you can use it before we go into using it let's jump into how to create our own models you may be using lots of ussd operations that m banker cannot program all of them for you want to create your own special one so that's where you need to create so just click on create it's a pretty simple form there's a name there's a steps there's sims and there's um, operation type so let's take our time to go into it with the name section you give it a name that you prefer a name that you remember of course so let's give it um let's say bundle so bundle now the steps this is where most people get confused you there are two types of operations on the ussd they are step by step and they are there's one time the difference is with the step by step you dial a ussd prompt let's say star one two three hash you send it and it goes and comes back you input it goes and come you input it goes and come but with the one time you dial a long code in your dialer let's say star one two three star one star two star something something hash and you send it one time so with this example we will take our time to program a step by step after we we'll program a one time one so with a step by step i have an example here i'll be using the mtn data bundle option so i have a booklet here i have taken my time to go through the prompts and i've written down the steps and we will advise you to do same Take your time to manually follow the prompt and write the steps down because you need to put them here. You can say, oh, you remember, but you realize, oh, after entering the first two, three, you forget whether you should enter one or two. So take your time, get a pen and a paper, write down the steps after you come here and you input it. So it's simple. First write the starting code let's say for this example it's bundle so um star 
138 hash and every step is separated with a comma so comma when you dial star 138 you send when you send something comes and you send again so what whatever step is a comma so don't forget that if you forget it and you just enter enter anything it will give you the wrong input so over here you can see star 138 hash comma one comma on my booklet another one so i write another one and i bring my comma then there's two then there's um a phone number yes this part is very important so we are processing a transaction it requires a phone number so in my steps i wrote phone numbers and the amount now you don't need to write any phone number or amount here the app gives you these buttons phone number input amount input so when the operation you are using requires a phone number input click on this when you get to that step click here see what it will input in the field now it has put a um, phone number into brackets square brackets leave it as it is don't touch it now you go to your next step the phone number is repeated twice so of course every step is separated with a comma so i'll put a comma here then i'll repeat the phone number again it has inputted um, another phone number into brackets um, square brackets then i follow the steps there's a one and lastly an amount so comma one comma amount i'll repeat the same thing i'll just click um amount input so you you can see i made a mistake i didn't separate the one and the amount of course so when i run this thing i'll get the wrong feedback so take your time separate the one and the amount with the comma just like i have done so let's take our time to go through every step is separated with a comma if you need any phone number or amount input don't write it directly inside here click on the input you desire and the app will itself will insert the desired characters now what is that it has done when we get to the point of using it the app will overwrite these things that it has put over here to the actual phone number we will input so it is step by step we leave it here of course i want to use some one so some one and i'll save it once i hit save it's now listed over here very simple so we've created our step by step uh, ussd operation let's go to one time operation after we'll go to how to use it so i'm creating an example of one time one time let's say of course evd codes mostly use this one time operation so example evd and uh, you be the let's say an example this is not a correct ussd i'm just using it as an example um star one two three maybe star um four star five star maybe you dial the person's number this time around you don't separate the steps with a comma you state that you state them as it is and if it desires an input click the input here too so let's say phone number it will put it then maybe another hash no another star then lastly maybe amount then we close it with a hash this is not a correct ussd it's an example so after doing all that i select one time because this operation will run it one time in my dialer so you see how it will work so let's just quickly save it and you see how it will work so i have my example evd here 
bundle here and the one i imported so now let's go to how to use it we've gone through how to program it let's go to how to use it to use it you always use it on your main screen just like any of these transaction types so let's say i want to use the bundle code i just programmed so i'll first of all click custom ssd and let's say i want to buy bundle so i'll click bundle you see the app is prompting me that phone number is required i programmed it that it should take a phone number but i didn't enter any phone number so it is prompting me so of course to use it you have to enter the input you programmed it with so um a test phone number let's say 055 an amount of course i programmed it to take an amount so i'll put an amount here now i'll go back to what i did and i'll select bundle so when i hit bundle you see it's running it so it has run the script with the input i i put over here one cd and the phone number even though bundle is not on the app i have programmed my own bundle now i can proceed and buy the bundle you see it's a step by step and every step was separated with a comma in case you missed that part take your time and watch the video again to see how to program it so i'll cancel it now let me show you an example of um the one time ussd so with the same phone number and amount i'll click let's say evd most evd it's a long script and you send one time so when i hit evd see it has opened my um my phone dialer with all the codes that was programmed with it if i should go back you see all the codes so it saves you the if i want to perform this i'll just hit one or two then it will run it it saves you the time of let's say every time someone is buying bundle um sorry evd you go back to dial style one two three four the app when you just go to the app with your custom ussd you click on evd it has populated it already with the phone number and the amount you put here you don't have to repeat the star one two three star blah 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 hash so that's about it for the cost of ussd transaction you can use it for any ussd operation if it doesn't require a phone number or amount input just dial it straight away but if it does you need to um, enter the phone number and amount before it will program it and of course once you run any transaction it will also be saved in the um, transaction history so if i go to my transaction history and i you see a custom ussd section click on it and you see the things i just attempted will be here so you can perform a lot of transactions different different ussd types and the, the app will run it and it will also save it for you for future records i hope this tutorial was very helpful to you if you missed any parts take your time go back and watch it and you should be able to figure it out in case you have any questions don't hesitate to reach out to us if you want to reach out to us um there's a section about here it says about our help click here click on this it will open a whatsapp chat and you can always talk to us thank you very much for your time see you another time bye